<laughs> so guys, I'm sorry. I was I touched my computer by mistake. I disconnected the the cable. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, so Jacqueline, I'm sorry. We were saying what was the grade he was in. Uh, she is in, in the high school. Okay, and the grade is? Uh, second grade. Second grade. What is the bilingual school you said? ABC bilingual. School. Okay, yeah, I know that one. Okay, yeah, all bilingual schools, they are finishing these days, actually, these days. Good, excellent. Uh, let's see, other plans. I want to listen to Jaime's plan for this weekend. What are your plans, Jaime? Uh, uh, well, first of all, hello, guys. Good evening to all of you. Good evening, um, sir. Well, my plans for this weekend. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any plans. I don't have money, so <laughs> so I'm uh, uh, I have trouble with that. Uh, I would like to I would like to go to Apaneca because it's it is a great place. Uh, we love that place as a family, um, and it is cheaper. However, uh, depending on the weather, we will be able to see or not. Because uh, for the kids, right? If it's raining, we will we will not be able to do to do it. Um, that's that's the that's the whole idea right now, mm -hmm. and that's it. Okay, I, I have a question. Go uh, ahead. How 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 can you say in English? Uh, this phrase. It is, I will say the phrase in Spanish because. I don't know how to say it in English. Oh, yeah. come on, don't use Spanish. It, Spanish is bad. I just want to know. I just did that. Uh, uh -huh, go te, ahead. Te, te zumbaron los oídos. Decir, te zumbaron los oídos. Good question. Uh, you know, I know the literal translation, but Americans are not going to have an idea of that one. So... <laughs> Maybe it's not a, a, a medium. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because uh, you know, they use a lot of sure. medium, but maybe this. I just... hear it was beeping or something like that. I think. No, 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 but 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 I mean, I mean, uh, the the real meaning for us it is the 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 when we say some uh, when we we say that phrase to anyone. Uh, it means that that estaban hablando mal de vos. I mean, someone someone was talking uh, uh, something behind you and uh, or, or at your back. So there is a, 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 a specific meaning, no, uh, no, not just the translation. So that's your task. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's your homework. We, uh, <laughs> that's your homework okay? How do you? How can we say this one? Let's see. <laughs> Google it. Um, <laughs> so let's see. Well, uh, well, later on, I'll, I'll try to find it out. Okay. Yeah, no, in the meantime, I, I just, I, I'm just asking this because uh, we was talking with 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 the rest of the of the class about uh, a previous teacher that we we do have, and they, they suddenly they just lost the connection and the. The screen just freezing, and we was talking that because we supposed to. You have that issue on on the moment that you get disconnected. So when you when you get back, I I, I was trying to say you that 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 uh, you suffer from the que te habían subado los oídos. I mean, okay, no, you know, I just disconnected it. I was playing with the cable, and I disconnected <laughs> by mistake that one. So okay, uh, well, that that, yeah. that was. So but let me find it out. Let me find it out. Okay, so people, today we have something super important to talk. This grammar topic that we will be studying today, it's super important. But first, let's go to a video, guys. We are going to pay attention to another video, similar to the one that we saw last time. Guys, our first speaking evaluation. What is it going to be about? Well, 
it will be a business meeting, okay? We are going to make groups. It will be four, groups of four. So we are going to have a meeting, I don't know, selling a product, discussing something. You are going to organize it and you are going to display information. Uh, that's why you will need to research information. When are we going to have that one, guys? Next Thursday, okay? Next Thursday, our first evaluation. It will, be just like the one that we do. It, will, it will be just like the one we do perform around two days ago. Similar to that one, but we are going to add some other stuff, okay? Okay. So don't worry about it. Let's see, guys. Let's go right now. Let's watch this video now. No, this is not the one. This is the one. Let's go, guys. Well, remember, try to take notes, try to see the names of the people that are there. Uh, what are they discussing? So let's go, let's do it again, guys. Paul is the human resources manager at Quartz Power Group. I'm sorry, creo que no estoy uh, sharing my audio. Just give me a second. Yes, but it's very... Yeah, I was no. awesome. No. So let's go again. I think you will hear that one better. Now. Paul is the human resources manager at Quartz Power Group. He has called a meeting with some of his colleagues to discuss a new training program. Right, shall we get started? Well, we're here to talk about a new training programme for the call centre. David, I asked you to come because you were involved in the market research we did, so I thought you could give us a short summary of the findings. And Anna, obviously it's your customer service teams who will be affected by this. Yes, exactly. So we thought you might have some ideas on the best way to approach the training programme. And Maria will be developing and running the training. Okay, David, could you run us through the main points from the research? Sure. Um, we worked with a market research agency over a period of a few weeks to gather information about our customers and what they thought of us. And the results were, well, mixed. Sorry, can I just check, why was this research done? Had there been complaints or...? Some complaints, yes, but also we are losing customers in the region and we wanted to know why. Sorry, I'm not sure I understand. Was the research about getting customer points of view or about customer profiles? It was to get customer feedback on the company and its services. Right, I see. So, the results showed a few areas where customers were not happy. One of the most common, how shall I put it, issues was with the call centre. I see. Can you be more specific? Well, basically, it seems that customers feel they are not getting good service and they are leaving us for another supplier. Right. So are you saying customers are leaving us because of the service from the staff or could there be other reasons too? I mean, could it be that we haven't got very good systems in place for our staff? Yeah, could be. Anna? Look, I have no problem with giving the staff a refresher course, but starting completely from scratch seems like a waste of time and money. They all receive training when they start anyway. Yes, that's a good point, Anna. And we don't know yet if we will have to start from scratch. It may be that we haven't done enough to monitor their activity and that a simple refresher course will be enough. 
Or it may be that we have to look at customer contact from start to finish and try to implement some new protocols. Maria? Yes, that's right. I'm sure there's a way of dealing with this sensitively. Anna, I realise it's not easy for you to suggest more training for your staff. So I wondered if we could start with a review of the current training approach and look at what we need to do to address the problems brought up in the survey. Yes, we could do that. But I would need to look at the full report first, of course. Um, and I understand your point about possibly wasting time and money, so perhaps you and I could look at the report together? Yes, okay. And then we'll be able to decide what needs addressing and how. If it's more training or even a complete systems overhaul. Good idea. Uh, I've brought in copies of the report. Perhaps we could start with the highlights first. Okay, guys. Overall, this meeting, what is the meeting about? Let's see, Claudia. Claudia Lisset, did you get what is the meaning? What, what is the meeting about? What some the ideas. I, I think that I, I got some ideas. Uh, for example, the topic was about trainings of the staff of a call center. Uh, but the situation uh, between, between them is uh, the necessity specific of the training. If it is about uh, complaints that they have about the consumers or um, the systems that they use to, to give the, the service. Some kind of situation that I got, <laughs> that I understood. Okay. okay, good. Somebody else wants to say more about this one, guys. What else was it about? <clears throat> well, um, all uh call to the meeting to the other people in order to discuss the new uh training program for call center um also they were um discussing about, uh, about the results of research that they had to hire a few days ago in order to um discuss their findings and one of those findings what it was the customer it wasn't hap were happening it, it were not happening with the customer service, and they um, agreed on the check it out, the you know, refresh of a, you know, a training program for the customer as a care personnel. Okay, good, excellent. Any other comment, guys? Do you I, want I, to watch me? it one more time? Uh, I think that overhaul is the thing that they showed, overhauling, that it's uh, that kind of a string makeover that take one and, and I don't know, reveal and put it shiny. That's a meaning, I don't know. I'm mm -hmm. thinking only the, the show that overhauling. Okay. Diego, you want to say something? Uh, yes. Uh, I think that the conversation was about uh, uh, the issues that call center has because uh, Kevin says that they are losing a lot of customers because they think that uh, they are not getting a good service. So that's why uh, Kevin think that the problem is the, uh, the call center and Anna that is, they represent, uh, Anna represents uh, all the customer service and Maria is someone who has the develop, uh, who has the 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 task to, to development and to and to have a feedback of mm -hmm. of uh, of the of the service that call center get. So uh, the real problem is that Anna thinks that they are they are wasting money and time, and Maria thinks that the customer well. The concern is not the real problem, and she wants to to review all the files that Kevin says. And all of the conversation is about that concern and 
has a lot of issues and they are not getting a good service and they have to research how they train their their personal and to development and to improve the service that they are getting. Okay, good, excellent. Uh, do they have to research or the research has been already done, guys? It's already done. It's already, it's already done. done. What were the findings they said? Customers were complaining about the uh, customer service. Okay, good, excellent. So people, let's see, now let's try to get more specific information. Let's try to answer the questions that are already sent on the chat, also on WhatsApp, okay? So let's go with this one, one more time, guys. Try to answer the questions, let's go. Paul is the Human Resources Manager at Quartz Power Group. He has called a meeting with some of his colleagues to discuss a new training programme. Right, shall we get started? Well, we're here to talk about a new training programme for the call centre. David, I asked you to come because you were involved in the market research we did, so I thought you could give us a short summary of the findings. And Anna, obviously, it's your customer service teams who will be affected by this. Yes, exactly. So we thought you might have some ideas on the best way to approach the training programme. And Maria will be developing and running the training. OK, David, could you run us through the main points from the research? Sure. Um, we worked with a market research agency over a period of a few weeks to gather information about our customers and what they thought of us. And the results were, well, mixed. Sorry, can I just check, why was this research done? Had there been complaints or...? Some complaints, yes, but also we are losing customers in the region and we wanted to know why. Sorry, I'm not sure I understand. Was the research about getting customer points of view or about customer profiles? It was to get customer feedback on the company and its services. Right, I see. So, the results showed a few areas where customers were not happy. One of the most common, how shall I put it, issues was with the call centre. I see. Can you be more specific? Well, basically, it seems that customers feel they are not getting good service and they are leaving us for another supplier. Right. So are you saying customers are leaving us because of the service from the staff or could there be other reasons too? I mean, could it be that we haven't got very good systems in place for our staff? Yeah, could be. Anna? Look, I have no problem with giving the staff a refresher course, but starting completely from scratch seems like a waste of time and money. They all receive training when they start anyway. Yes, that's a good point, Anna. And we don't know yet if we will have to start from scratch. It may be that we haven't done enough to monitor their activity and that a simple refresher course will be enough. Or it may be that we have to look at customer contact from start to finish and try to implement some new protocols. Maria? Yes, that's right. I'm sure there's a way of dealing with this sensitively. Anna, I realise it's not easy for you to suggest more training for your staff. So I wondered if we could start with a review of the current training approach and look at what we need to do to address the problems brought up in the survey. Yes, we could do that. But I would need to look at the full report first, of course. Um, and I understand your point about possibly wasting time and money, so perhaps you and I could look at the report together? Yes, OK. Then we'll be able to decide what needs addressing and how. If it's more training or even a complete systems overhaul. Good idea. 
Uh, I brought in copies of the report. Perhaps we could start with the highlights first. Let's answer the questions, then we get some vocabulary about it. Number one, guys, let's see. I'm sorry. What's the reason? Can, can you be more specific? What is the reason for the meeting? Let's see. Jose, Jose Medardo, what's the reason for the meeting? Well, teacher, they was discussing about it that they have some problem with the uh, with the teams that they are in charge for customer service, as I understood. And they are they was discussing about implementing a new training program. Okay, they was or they were? They were, sorry. Okay, good. Implementing a new training program. Good, yeah. excellent. So who is chairing the meeting, guys? Do you remember his name and everything? Let's see. Um, let me see, Joaquin, who's sharing the meeting? Uh, that's Paul, Paul. the HR manager. Good, excellent. He's chairing the meeting. Uh, good. Who are the particip Who are participating in this meeting, guys? Do you remember their names? Uh, Judy, do you remember their names? Yeah, Paul, the one that is sharing the meeting. David uh, had a survey and the, the report. Uh, Anna that is uh, the manager, I believe, from customer service, and Maria. I don't remember what is her position. Do you remember Maria's position, guys? Yes, is uh, is going to developing and running the training programs. Good. Okay. So, uh, great. Hey, good. So, people, let's see. Last question. No, well, it's not the last question. What are the issues they are discussing? What are the issues? Liliana, do you remember what the issues are? Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, I think that Maria uh, say that uh, uh, she has a problem with refrigerating because the point uh, was that every employee, when they started at the company, receiving a training and probably implementing a new training uh, will get a uh, 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 cost, elevated cost. Okay. What else, guys? Any other idea? I understood that they mentioned something like they worked with a market research agency for um, for um, I can say for, sorry teacher, I forget the word, but they looked for some information about the customers. He gathered the information. Like, uh, yeah, this word, gather, gather information, yeah. Okay, good, excellent. The last one, guys, the last one. What solution have they uh, what solution have they come up with? What was the solution given at the end? Uh, I thought there is a uh, start a new program uh, and implement a new technique to give to the people that are in call centers to get in a better better customer service because one of the problem is that they are not given a good service. And because of that, customer are lose, uh, they are losing customers because they are searching uh, for another supplier. For another supplier. But there is another solution more specific they mentioned. Uh, Maria, Maria suggested a survey, but um, Anna uh, asked her to review the reports before. A refresher. Good. 
that's what we call a refresher, guys. Like in this module, we are going to have a lot of grammar refreshers, guys. So good, excellent. Some vocabulary that I found right there. Shall we, shall we get started? A formal way to say, let's start, okay? Let's start, shall we get started? So shall we get started? Could you run us, guys, what do you think could you run us on? What do you think? Based on the context and everything that we saw, could it's you, like, David, could you run us through the main points? Yeah, it's like the same meaning, I believe, to say, let's go through this document, let's go through this topic. It's like, uh, give it context uh, yeah. regarding some topic guiding somebody as well straight, straight to the point explaining the points so uh then the other ones i think we know them right it seems that customers what is the meaning it seems guys something that we are not sure about it yeah mm -hmm. it also it look like it looked like ah uh, yeah no okay good excellent guys so people try to get from uh, well i'll send you on material we are going to have these two videos we just started guys why because they something similar is the one that we are going to use but tomorrow we are going to discuss how we are going to make that presentation guys okay so what are the things we are going to do so people let's go right now and I have a question for you guys. Um, I forgot calling or I forgot to call my mother. Which one is correct? Which one is incorrect? I forgot calling my mother. I forgot to call my mother. Calling. What do you I think, think is correct? I, think I forgot to call. I forgot to call. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot to call. I, I forgot to call. Good. Yeah. But I forgot to calling is okay as well. But uh, if you're saying I forgot calling uh, my mom, you, it's because you have to say something because it's an action that is interrupt uh, your idea. I think maybe uh, I forgot to call in my mom because I was driving or something. You have to complete the sentence, right? I'm not sure it is okay. Is like uh, past continuous, I guess. You are getting there. You are getting there. So, yeah, basically, yeah, you have an idea right there. But something important, we will see it. We will see it in a second, guys. Something important is to understand that some verbs, they are going to be followed by infinitive. What is an infinitive, guys? Do you know? A verb in base form? It's a verb in base form. Yes. Okay. So, for example, guys, if we talk about infinitives, how do you say correr in Spanish? Sorry, in English. How do you say correr in English? Run. To, to run. To run. To run. To run. To run. That's the infinitive because in Spanish it's correr. Right, but in English, to run, <coughs> sorry, to study, to practice, to go, to eat, to live, to come, to extend, to become, to get, to forget, to forgive, to give, to freeze, to have. Okay, those are infinitives. We have something that is called gerund. What's a gerund, guys? Do you remember? ING ING form. Easy, right? ING forms. So, guys, let's go to today's topic. There we have some verb, guys. <laughs> they are going to be followed by a gerund. Okay. For example, let's look at them. Just give me a second. Let's make them bigger. Bigger. There we go. This is better. So guys, some verbs that always are followed by gerunds. For example, we have the verb feel like, okay? 
feel like. What's the meaning of this one, guys? Feel like. Do you know that one? I feel like something. It is, it is, it is when you try to express, express uh, comparison or comparative uh, between how you feel with something else. Mm, I guess is when you want to uh, when you want something. Actually, it's that one when you want to express what you want. Okay, guys, I feel like sleeping at this moment. I am tired. Today is Thursday, so I'm feel like sleeping. I uh, feel like watching some movies tomorrow. Yes, watching some movies. I feel like, okay, I feel like, and you say whatever, okay, feel like ING, okay, I feel like ING. Uh, I want to celebrate, I want to celebrate, uh, let's see, celebrate having a baby. I want to celebrate having a baby. I want to celebrate passing, passing this year, passing this module. I want to celebrate passing. I want to celebrate to pass, no, passing. Enjoy, I enjoy sleeping, I enjoy cooking, I enjoy having. Eating pupusa. I enjoy eating, okay? I keep working, I keep studying, I keep on learning i keep on uh, having okay i suggest going i suggest going to the doctor hey i suggest going to the doctor would be a great idea i dislike cooking uh, no no i like cooking i dislike Wash the dishes, maybe. Washing the dishes, yes, I just like it. Especially when we ate beans, smashed beans. I just well, like you are cooking. So I like cooking. I like cooking. But you uh, you use some a uh, lot of uh, stuff to to cook. Which stuff? Like all the utensils, you mean? Yes, yes, what it is. Yeah, but you know, I do it. I wash the dishes. But it's something that I dislike doing. Doing. Okay, good. Let's see okay. another one. Um, I can help. Do you know what's the meaning of can help, guys? No, it's not that you cannot help somebody. Any idea what does what does it mean? Like you can avoid point. something you can avoid something for you it's impossible to do it i can help falling in love with you that's the elvis presley song if you haven't if you haven't seen the conjuring too that's the song they sing right <laughs> so uh can you picture, can you picture having, having twins? <laughs> can you picture having twins, guys? Very difficult, right? Uh, so on. So guys, these are common verbs with gerunds. How can I learn these verbs? Is there a trick? Yes, guys, there is a trick. Study, that's the trick. Practice them, <laughs> that's the trick. There is no easy way for this one, guys. Well, these are the verbs that they always are followed by a gerund. Well, uh, another another option, well, another structures, guys, that they are always followed by a gerund. For example, be used to. I am used to having. I am used to working. I am used to waking up. I am used to getting up. I am used to waking up at 5 a.m. 
I am used to waking up. So I am not used to working late at night. I am not used to working late at night. Look forward to. Do you use ing? Do you know what's the meaning of look forward to, guys? Look forward to. Any idea? It's like a yeah. uh, uh, baby, I think. I'm sorry, what? Uh, take yeah. care of something, I think. Uh, that is look after. Look, look after. You're waiting something. You are waiting for something, but you are really happy about that something. So, guys, look forward to see you tomorrow. Okay? To see you, incorrect. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. So, ING. There are other structures, but you need to learn them with the time, guys. So, guys, there are other verbs that they are going to be followed by an infinitive. For example, she threatened to quit if she didn't get a rise. She threatened to quit, okay? We agree to, to start. We agreed to start the business plan. We failed to implement to apply. Uh, <coughs> we resolve to have, to cut, okay? They attempt to, they hope to, it seems to, okay? They learn to, they manage to, they struggle to, they strive to, they swear to, they swear to have, they swear to be more careful, they swear to be, okay? They plan to open a new business. They are waiting to, they want to, they would like to. They demand to, they deserve to, they uh, promise to, and so on. So guys, these are the most common verbs followed by an infinitive, okay? There are other verbs that it doesn't matter if you use infinitive or if you use normal verb, sorry, gerund verb, like start, it started to rain, it started raining, okay? I continue studying. I continue to study. I hate to cook. I don't. Well, I hate cooking. Yes, sir. Tell me, you have a question, Jaime. Yes. Can you share that link? link or, or it the will link be in the us, platform, but also I'll send it to WhatsApp. Just give me a okay. second, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good. So, guys, like, I like to cook, I like cooking, I love cook, sorry, I love to cook, I love uh, cooking, I prefer to cook, I prefer cooking, but then we go to the ones that change, let's see, the one that we were talking about, I forget, well, I forgot to meet him, I didn't meet him because I forgot to do it, I forgot to call my mom, you were interrupted by something, you didn't do it, okay? So I forgot to call my mom today. I was busy and I had a problem in my job and I forgot to do it, blah, blah, blah. I forgot calling my mother, that's a serious problem. You need to go to the doctor and see what's going on, okay? Because you don't have the memory of meeting him before you don't have the memory of calling your mom i forgot calling my mother did i do that probably you were uh i don't know you were in a different i don't know how to say it in a different mood you know know what i'm trying to say so i forgot meeting him you forgot doing the action go on he wanted 
he went on to learn English and French. He ended one period of time before this. He ended one period of time before this. He went on learning English and French. He continued learning English and French. So that's a big difference. She quit another job in order to work here. She quit to work here. She quit. She was working, but she quit. She quit to work here. What is the reason? She quit to work here. She quit working here. She doesn't work anymore here. Okay? Regret. I regret promising to help you. I'm sorry that I made that promise. Okay? I regret to tell you that we can hire you. I am telling you now, and I am sorry. That's the meaning. Remember the same. Stop. Try. Remind. They are some verbs we can use with gerunds or we can use with verbs. Uh, sorry, with infinitive, guys. So, do you have a question about it? Questions? No questions? Todo claro, amigo? Let's make a little exercise before we go to a little activity. Just give me a second. Let's go right now, guys. I'll send you the exercise here on the WhatsApp group. So let's do it. You need to select whether it is a gerund or an infinitive, guys. Let's go. It is the link that you already sent. Yeah, the one that says English grammar dot at. Okay, thanks. Y el otro guys es la página que estábamos ocupando. So the exam is the second link, the one with the 14 sentences. That's right. You select whether is it gerund or it is um, in an infinitive. Okay, thanks. Let's do it, guys.
sorry, Fisher, are we going to send you? No, no, don't worry. We are going to discuss it later ah, okay. on. So right now, just do it. Okay. If you don't know, you have the website there. Check the website before answering. It's raining. Raining there? Yes, it is. Guys, all the links are already there in week one. The videos that we watched, also the this link of infinitive endurance, the one that we watched yesterday about being assertive, guys. So all of them are in there. It's raining here now. <laughs> Where do you live? San Jacinto, close to the National Zoo. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, let's do it. Let's go right now. Let's see the answers you have. Uh, Joaquin, you're going to help me with the first one. Let's see. Go, number one. Sure. Harry suggested spending a few weeks in Greece. Good, excellent. Number two, please, Carlos. Okay, uh, you should risk uh, to ski without wearing a helmet. To ski. To ski. Without wearing a helmet. To ski. Okay, we will see. Let's see. Number three, help me please. Uh, Judy, teachers should avoid. Teacher should avoid shouting in front of their pupils. Students, another way to say students, right? Adali, next one, number four. Uh, the policeman offered uh, to help us find a way. Thank you. Ka uh, Cindy, please, number five. Teacher, uh, she always tend to lie. Mm -hmm. about things she doesn't like. Good. Number six, let's see. Claudia, help me. Number six. Claudia? Sorry, sorry, I was in, I was mute. Yeah. Yes. Um, he practiced, practiced Running every morning. Repeat after me. He practices. He practices. Running he every practices. morning. Okay. Thank running you. Every morning. Yes. David Antonio. Yes. Number seven. Uh, he went. He went on like talking for ages. He's, um, he's implied wouldn't stop. He simply, repeat after me, he simply. He simply. Wouldn't stop. Wouldn't stop. Good, excellent. Eight, please, let's go with David Alexander. Hey, Roy. Eight, yes. Uh, mom seems to be very worried. What's wrong? Good. 
Number nine, please, Diego. Uh, my uncle invited me uh, to stay with, with him. Good. Number 10, Jacqueline. I don't feel like going out today. Could we, could we go tomorrow? Good. Number 11. Jonathan, number 11. So, sorry, I was on mute. Uh, 11, Chris has considered moving his company to London. Moving his company to London. Great, great. Uh, let's see. Number 12, Jose. Jose Medardo, please. Well, teacher, um, they Go. decided to decorate their baby's room. Good. To redecorate. 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 Number 13. Marta, please help me. 13. The two friends enjoy going shopping with me. Finally, Peter, number 14. It's that the car. It's that the car. Let's see what happens. Okay. Good. Ninety-two. There was only one incorrect. Risk. Skiing, right? Skiing. So our score is now 96. So guys, I think we have no problem with this one, right? Seems to be uh, good. G give me a second, guys. Just give me a second. I just closed the window that is in front of my room. So guys, uh, do you have any question about this one? Seems to be- I only, I, I, go, I, go, I go have to have a, a, a clue, but you said that only <laughs> anyway, I have to memorize the words. <laughs> Sometimes we don't even have to memorize. It's just a matter of looking or listening how it sounds. For example, mm -hmm. uh, she's trying to suggest, no, she's, uh, she suggests to go or she suggests going. Me suena más bonito, she suggests going. So sometimes it's just a matter of listening to it and finding out what's the best way to say these things. Guys, let's go right now. I have a question for you. The question is, This is the question that I have for everyone, guys. What do you suggest doing to improve your listening skills? What are your suggestions about it? 
Okay, we are going to talk today. We are going to be talking in groups or not in couples. Okay, one minute, one person, one minute, the other person. So let's practice right now, guys. Let's do it. I suggest watching. I suggest you uh, looking for. I suggest. Uh, having conversation in English, so on, okay? Let's go right now, guys. Let's practice this one. I will create the rooms. Please accept the invitations. Let's go. Mister, we are practicing right now a question. So I'll send you to practice to one group, okay? Can you see the invitation? No. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Can you see it now? Oh, Jesus. Um, no, coach. I'm sorry.
Let's wait for everybody, guys. Hello. Let's wait. Thank you. So, guys, Welcome. I want to listen to your opinion right now. Okay? Yeah. It's really hard to be honest. Let's go right now well, and let's begin with Liliana. So, Liliana, what do you suggest doing to improve your listening skills? Okay. You have one uh, minute answer. Let's go. Okay. I suggest uh, if you use uh, Netflix, for instance, uh, or another uh, streaming platform, uh, use the audio and original in uh, English and subtitles and also in English too, because uh, you will get uh, more uh, listening skill. And other important thing, I think that you have to to listen uh, accent of different people in the world. For instance, program uh, with uh, Indian people, with American people, with I don't know Asian people because the accents are different and I, it's not it's not good uh, listening accent of only one kind of people. Thank you so much. Excellent. So. Good, excellent. I like it. You use this one. I suggest listening. La 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 la. So that one was good. Good job over there, lady. What do we need to work on? Some little things. First one, be careful with Spanish influence. You said programs. No programs. Shows. Shows. Okay? TV shows. Yeah. Don't say programs. Yeah, that's thing. And that's one thing. They accent their accent their accent, their accent. Okay. yeah their okay accent. and the most important that i want you to do is this buffer sounds you say nine times uh, uh, oh, to you make the vowels at the end longer okay buffer sounds yeah. muletillas uh, mm, uh, mm, mm, uh, so you need to eliminate them. It's impossible to do it in one day. So my suggestion is practice the shadowing method that will help you try to have pre-fabricated, pre-manufactured phrases. For example, one you can say all the time, like, well, in my personal opinion, I think that makes you sound, uh, you are speaking faster. Well, let me tell you something like that, okay? okay well, if you want to be able, use verbs that you use them all the time. One verb that I use all the time when I was learning English was the able to. They asked me, are you going to go to the party? I'm not going to be able to go, man. Instead of just saying, no, I can. Um, no, I'm not going to be able to go, but blah, 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 blah. So that made me that made me sound more okay. fluent and at the end it helps thank you lady okay, diego you, you want to participate yes i'm agree with liliana uh, one of my suggests is watching series in english and wait my it. friend right now you are going to tell us everything imagine that we start from zero right now i come okay. and i tell you hey diego could you tell me what do you suggest doing to improve your listening skills? Let's go. Uh, my suggest to to improve your English is watching series. If you if you use Netflix or another 
uh, another app, uh, use Netflix and watching series or watching TV shows and use to use the, the subtitles too in English because uh, if you don't know how to say something or, or, or if, you, if you don't know the word, uh, you can get more vocabulary because you know how that word sounds and what is the meaning and how you can write it. So and you are uh, and you're improve your listening skills and you get more vocabulary too. Then uh, to me is the best way to to improve your listening skills and to get a fluency. Because uh, as Lidiana says, uh, if you are listening a lot of kinds of of pronunciation, and you are getting you are getting like uh, more skills or more ways to say something and you know how to that the word can sound in different accents so that might suggest thank you so much great job excellent you spoke uh for a lot of time actually so that's super i really liked it uh my friend though just some little things you need to be careful that's my suggestion that's my suggestion, okay? So be careful with the vocabulary. Besides that, it was really good. I like it, Diego, how you did it, how you express all the ideas. So good job, my friend. Excellent. People, let's go again. Yesterday we had a listening exercise. We are going to do another one today, okay? Before we start, guys, tomorrow we are going to continue with this grammar topic. Let's see. To get nervous about it. it's the most terrifying thing most people do is talking in public. Again, grab your paper, guys. Grab your stuff. This time, you are not going to send them to WhatsApp to any any other spot. But I want you to do it, guys. Choose the answer with. Synonyms. Pay attention to synonyms. Often the correct answer in listening part A is an answer that contains synonyms, words with a similar meaning, but different sounds for keywords in the conversation. For example, the conversation says, well, I think I'm going to buy a new house. Mine is... Uh, no. I think I'm going to buy my, I'm going to buy new shoes, new pants. I'm going to buy new pants. Mine are totally torn apart. Well, you should go and buy something not that old, okay? What does the man mean? All, what is a synonym of all? Well, a synonym of all will be like, uh, there are a lot of things, but in this, imagine in this scenario that we have, we have words like dilapidated, all rusty and stuff like that. So we need to go with the same idea. Pay attention always to the second answer. Okay, not the first part, but the second one. The answer is there. Pay attention to the question as well. Okay, usually, because we want to listen everything, we don't understand what the question is. And that's where the problems come from. So guys, let's go right now. Let's listen to this one. Get the paper, get everything. TOEFL exercise two. In this exercise, listen carefully to the short conversation and question in the recording, and then choose the best answer to the question. You should look for synonyms for key words in the second line. Second line. Number one. What? Is Read the question first. Number one. Look, look at the questions. Look at what we are talking. We are talking about exams. So let's go. What did you think of the final exam in algebra? It was too easy. What does the man mean? Synonym.
Number two. How are you feeling today? I'm really feeling rather sick. How is the man feeling? Number three. Look at the questions, guys. Quickly. Has your family been in business for quite some time? No, the family business was just established last year. What does the woman say about the family business? Number four. Did you have to wait at the airport for a long time? No, the plane landed right on schedule. What does the man mean? Hmm? Number five. Do you want to join me in the pool? Oh, I'll just run and put my suit on. What does the woman imply? Number six. Last night's fire burned the entire hillside. At least the homes were saved. What does the woman mean? Number seven. Should I add more salt and pepper to the soup? No, I think there's enough. What does the woman mean? Number eight. How are you able to pay your college fees? I was fortunate to get a scholarship. What does the man mean? Number nine. How successful was the corporation last year? It made quite a big profit. What does the woman say about the corporation? Number 10. Chuck is on his way to the bank now, isn't he? Yes, he is. He thinks his bank account is overdrawn. What does the man mean? There are the answers, guys. Check your answers. Okay. Sorry, teacher, could you? <laughs> yes. There is a gray square. Yeah, we I, I will remove it right now. Oh, come on. One second. <laughs> how do you feel it? Let's talk about how do you feel? Was it easier than yesterday? Was it more complicated? 
Did you know what to expect? Let's see. Let's get a testimony right now. Uh, Claudia, did you do yesterday's, right? So how- Yes, I, I did it and, uh, and the result was the same. I had uh, seven okay, uh, seven right, sorry. Uh, but was difficult, uh, but thank you teacher, because I think it's, it's very useful, this kind of uh, exercise. 33 days more that you are going to be with me guys. And the 33 days, well, one day that will be the exam, no. <laughs> well, 30, 30, 30, 30 days that we are going to do it guys. I will try to give you, no le voy a dar el, el channel where I'm getting that one from because you can go and get tempted to practice. So later on you can practice and I'll give you more channels for you to practice this type of exercises. But right now, let's just focus on this one. Okay, so you think it was more difficult this one than yesterday. What yes. about Jaime, what's your opinion? How do you feel that one? Uh... Yesterday I was I was I was okay, and on this one I have a, a, I have more complication because I was unable to find pen and paper, <laughs> and and I was trying to copy on the cell phone. For that reason, I couldn't read two answers. Logistic but, problem. That's a logistic problem, my friend. Yeah, yeah, but 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 I didn't feel so bad. Uh, yesterday I get all, all correct, and today I I I, I get eight to ten, eight 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 ten eight or, or ten. Eight out yeah. of ten. Eight eight out of ten. Thanks. And besides that, we had a problem with pen and paper, so it could be that it was okay. almost the same, right? Good. Yep. So guys, from one to ten, what was your score, Ernesto? What was your score? Sorry, teacher. What was your score? Yesterday, I as uh, I was good in. Let me see. The M five. I have I have five points. And today? Yeah, but today, I'm going to be honest. I'm just listening the the test, but I didn't, didn't do I it. Didn't it. No. Okay. <clears throat> Try to see you. You are testing how how you are doing this one. Let's see, Judy. How about you? I remember yesterday you got a ten. What about today? Uh, yeah, I was lucky today too. I got ten. Hmm. Uh, maybe because I'm used to listen Indian people to speak, so <laughs> this is I easier. Have deal, uh -huh, I have the a lot about <laughs> learning the. Training your 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 listening skill. That's yeah. That's good. Excellent. Uh, Jacqueline, how about you? I have uh, seven to ten. And yesterday, how was yesterday? No, yesterday I didn't do. It. You, I, you not. I, I, yeah. Yes, I I wasn't in the class yesterday. Don't worry, but I I'm glad seven let's see tomorrow what's tomorrow's score so guys we are going to continue doing this one we will be practicing them so please uh well along the day try to listen songs when you listen the songs in english try to see how many words do you understand how many phrases do you understand uh try to listen to podcasts that's something that i can recommend you guys podcast in english it will help you a lot because uh it's not like a song right it, it is somebody talking ted talks in english yeah right? somebody said yesterday right ted talks try, to, try yeah. to look for the postcard halloween postcard they are very interesting halloween podcast hey and you can in english is super good because you can find a lot of type of uh, can i YouTube recommend videos. some podcast teacher i'm sorry can i recommend a podcast to the classmates do you have a link you can share with us? Oh, uh, I have it on Spotify. It's a OKOP -OK show. It's called. Send it. Send it to the chat. Yeah, of okay, course. I will. Can. Listen to them, guys. It will help you a lot. People, it was a pleasure. I took three minutes more. So, uh, guys, it was a pleasure for me being with you. Take care, everybody.
Bye from now, guys. Take care, people. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. 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 everybody. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Have a good, good night, everybody. Good night as well, guys. Good evening, guys. Bye from now. Good night. Good night.